dollars so you know it adds character so this is my bed now my bed is completely level with no tools but just uh, some particle board and some pre-cut lumber that I found at Home Depot and then I have it just sitting on a on a three inch trifold mattress the bed was priority for me because I have a bad back so it was important that I could sleep comfortably and then I work on the road this is my work laptop so I keep all of my work stuff right here easily accessible and then this is where I sit to do my work just like this so then I can sit up drink my coffee have my breakfast look out and get all of my work done and then I have my my Jackery 240 so this is what I use to power all of my electronics um, and I also have the accompanying solar panel that goes with it that is a 60 watt solar panel and that's, that's enough. all I need that's all that's, I need Bob yeah. yeah it's perfect so this is Winston's bed and I love that I can access everything from inside my van when I'm sitting here I have all this headroom um, and that's why I opted to put my bed on the floor as opposed to a cot or some sort of platform I am 5'8 so I don't hit my head and that's really important in a minivan this table is probably my favorite piece of furniture it's from Ikea it costed me $19 I covered it in pretty vinyl paper it came with a shelf, but I don't use the shelf because I store so many things underneath it. Over here, I just have things to, to access. I have a carbon monoxide alarm. That's important. Uh, internet and things like that. So, so I'm all set now. I can access my kitchen things, my coffee, all of my hygiene and toiletries my clothes and everything i can access all of that from inside but i'll show you it from the trunk as well mm -hmm. so i have a really simple build that didn't require any tools or, or building because i don't have those resources so i i just kept it as simple as possible so anyone could do exactly what you've done here. anyone can do this and on a budget right because i i'm on a writer's budget right so i built i built out my van for less than a thousand dollars Right. everything in here less than a thousand dollars and my van only costed me thirty five hundred dollars so for you know less than five grand i'm out on the road right. full time so anybody can do this i use a yeti cooler as opposed to the apple cool 20 liter fridge now i did buy one because i got an excellent deal on prime but i have to tell you bob i like the yeti better i like the yeti because it doesn't use power I have more space in it and I use this as a tabletop mm -hmm. and in a minivan you are limited on space so if you can double up on stuff um, to make it as a table or something as well that's really important so as I said I can access everything from inside the van but of course from the trunk as well I keep all of my personal items and hygiene in here because if I need to take it into say a public shower I can just pick it up and move it somewhere I also just keep my kitchen storage right here. And this is how I store my things when I'm, when I'm traveling. But this just has miscellaneous kitchen items. And I keep all of my dry food storage in this igloo cooler. That's, yeah, that's a great idea. So, it's cool. yep, so I can access it from inside my van, outside my van, and then also obviously use that as a tabletop. And you've used the space from the stow and go. I have used this face from the stone go so I don't have any seats in here they have all been removed so my middle seat is storage and then this is recessed you know down here so I have all of this space right so that goes all the way down to the that bottom goes all the way down very deep in these uh, dodge yep and then of course that shelf keeps all my my clothes and things like that I have Winston's items right here and then personal items up here that I use on a regular basis and then I also keep my, I have a, so this, um, I have these drawers set up on the side like this. So they, they open up this way and they don't, you know, move. So it's nice and secure in there. Mm -hmm. And then I just have it looking nice in my little curtain. So don't you want it to be homey? Yeah. Of course. Like most people, I have my Reflectix that I've cut for all my windows. And I just keep them stored nicely right here. 
I also made this little foam board that I like eat lunch on or do work on. It's literally foam board from the dollar store covered in vinyl paper. Uh-huh. So this is my five gallon bucket, just like everybody has uh -huh. from Home Depot with my toilet top. Mm -hmm. But let me show you how I use it in my van because I'm pretty proud. <laughs> this is real life stuff. Everybody poops. Everybody poops. <laughs> so I can use it just like this, Bob. But we like to pretend we don't. We like to pretend we don't. But look at how nice this is. Yeah, plenty of room. Now, I don't always use it in here only like when I have to, but you do have that option. Showering, I have a portable shower. Um, it's stored right now, but I actually like to take advantage of public showers, mm -hmm. uh, like at the quartzite laundromat right. and places like that. But I do have a portable shower um, and I can use this portable Wolf Wise tent to do that. Mm -hmm. And to also set up my toilet if I need to. And then I just set up this little table to do all of my, my cooking and, and my water and things. I have my little you know, electric water pump here. I use the MSR Pocket Rocket because I'm a super simple person and I just didn't want to take a lot of space up. So this is what I use and it has wind guards on it and I can even use it in my van if I have to with the windows down. Amanda, tell us again about your channel. My channel is Adventuring with Amanda and on my channel the point is to create short informative videos that anybody can relate to. Anybody can do van life, I believe, and so my, my videos are very informative and, and meant to be helpful. So I hope that you'll check it out and enjoy. And I also launched a new website today called amandayantos.com, so you can find more about me there. Very, very good. Thank yes. you so much for sharing your life Thank and your you, home with Bob. us. Thank you, Bob. You are my role model and my inspiration. Uh, I'm so happy. Uh, well, <laughs> I was just going to say you're an inspiration. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you. I'm so, I feel so blessed. I'm just overwhelmed with gratitude. Thank you. You really are a perfect example. You've got uh, less than 5,000, around 5,000 yeah. in this. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. And you did it all yourself. Yep. And, and if I, you can do it, anybody anyone. can. Anybody can. Because yeah. all I have is a creative mind and everything else. I'm not an engineer. I'm not... I, I'm not a construction expert, nothing. So anybody can do this. Right. Yep. So there you heard it, right? There you heard it. You heard Here it folks, is. you can do it. Everybody, <laughs> everybody come on out and join the van life community. Right. It's incredible. And and even if you're not ready to go uh, make, cut the tie and be full time, if things hold you at home, like your parents or a lot of things. Just come out and enjoy some time. Right. Just check it out. Your Meet life some people. is much better however yes. much time you spend out here. That's right. Even if it's a day a week. Right. Better than nothing. Okay, well, thank you so much, Amanda. Thank you, Bob. I really appreciate it. I appreciate it. you, my friend. So there you have it, folks. I hope you got something out of this, and I know you did. <laughs> this is such an inspi inspiring story. Uh, if you got anything out of it, like us on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, hit that thumbs up button, and we'll talk to you later. Thank you again, Amanda. Thank you, Bob. Mm -hmm.